but you see this ceiling right here. All right, let me focus in on it. You'll see it's got a slight texture to it. And here in the Chicagoland area, we don't have much skip trowel, knockdown, orange peel, or anything like that. People who don't know what they're doing are texturing around here. They just take mud and they just kind of roll it on and they put a little stipple to it like what you see here. And, and that's what they do. It's usually painters who have mixed up some mud and rolled it on really thin just to try to hide all of the imperfections. This is a plaster ceiling here. That's what this is. This is the only textured thing in this entire house. This is it. Everything else is smooth except this. So you know a homeowner did it somewhere along the line. This house is well, probably a hundred years old or so. So what I'm going to do is I fixed some of the cracks some of the cracks you see. I fixed them with fiberglass mesh tape and Durabond. I had a hole here that was an old light can, right? And I fixed that. And, and so I just fixed some of the cracks, but I, I'm going to 12 box this whole thing one direction. So I just wanted to show you this real quick of how I do this. And, once, now I'm gonna turn around and run right back. Because if you look really closely, and I think you can, you'll see little air bubbles and all that other stuff in there. Now they're all gone, okay? But again, if you look really closely, I got ripples in this because this has got a texture that's gonna leave ripples. That's why I'm gonna strip these centers after it's all dry, and I'm gonna box it this direction to get rid of all of those ribbons. I skinned in between all of the boxing. Now I'm gonna run it the other way because I got some ripples in here. Now, when I ran it the first time, I ran it wide open, just absolutely wide open. I'm gonna run it on two right now and see where that is. If I don't like it, I'll probably crank it either up or down a little bit more. But uh, I am just kind of skinning it out now and doing that. I got, got a deep spot right here, and I have some bubbles in here too. So let me uh, let me do a couple of boxes here, and then I'll go back over it. This actually looks pretty good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna box this out on two, all the way up and down. But I'm gonna have to double box it because I'm getting bubbles. And when I double box it, all the bubbles are gone. Every one. Okay. And that's what I'm going to do now. I'm, I'm going to just sit here and skin this whole thing out. I would like to let you guys watch me do the whole thing, but I only got a few minutes left. I'm going to recharge my batteries in my, in my uh, camera. And I never did. So all I really have left now is the strip in between the 12 box and the look. I mean, sometimes I, I might have a some some little bit of bubbling or blistering down the center of the 12 box. Not much. I have a little bit here and a little bit there. But now I'm, all I'm going to do is I'm going to strip between the two. Um, now I'm not going to show you this entire ceiling, so just be patient. What I wanted to tell you about was that spread see how I just spread that I this is to me this is the most important part I'm doing it slow for your benefit right now that's the most important part of uh, drywall finishing once you get this spread down right here this spread just like that once you have that down pat Everything else is really easy. It's all becomes simple. Um, you know, I I know a lot about drywall. I've been taping since, well, I just figured it out. I've been taping for 48 years now. Kind of amazed how I'm still in pretty good shape after 48 years of doing this stuff. Oh no, 40, it's 47 years. I'm sorry, 47 years. So I know quite a bit about drywall. I also know, a few things 
about sobriety. You know, this is, what is this? This is July 19th, 2023 right now. That's what this is. July 19th of 2023. August 4th of next month, I'll be 39 years sober. August 4th. And it didn't come naturally, guys. You know, I didn't just decide one day I'm going to stop drinking and stop drinking. You know, in fact, it was very, very difficult to stop drinking, and I needed a lot of help. I just couldn't do it on my own. You know, I, I tell people a lot of times, drinking was easy. You know, living and drinking was an easy thing to do. Uh, it just, you just bore the consequences of your actions every day. Living without drinking was very difficult. I had to relearn a lot of things all over again because I had been a drunk for so many years. Uh, I didn't know how to handle or react to situations with a sober mind. You know, today, I've got a very sober mind. I really do. But I still work very hard at my recovery. You know, if I'm not working on my recovery on a daily basis, I'm working on my relapse. And that's what I still have to do on a daily basis is work on my recovery. The point I'm trying to make here, guys, while I'm doing this, is if you have to drink, get help. Please, there's so much help out there. Get help. If you don't have to drink, don't. Just don't. It's just not worth it. And it's not just drinking anymore. You know, marijuana, pot, is legal across most of the United States. And yes, I was a big pot smoker too. Uh, there was a time in my teens, I used to keep a pound as my private stash. Hope I can't get arrested for this. Um, but today, again, 39 years sober, guys, next month. And uh, no pot, no drugs, no alcohol. Just living life on life's terms the way life is supposed to be lived. You guys, I'm going to cut you guys off now. But like I said, if you have to drink, get help. If you don't have to drink, don't. My day today, I'm telling you, my worst day, absolutely worst day sober is still far better than my best day as a drunk. And nobody's going to be able to experience that unless they give them a chance to get sober. So you guys, have a great day. I love you. Hey, you guys watch me box this one direction, right? And then I stripped the angles and I caught the edges and everything else. But you didn't see a lot of that. You just saw me boxing it the one direction. And then I left all of those ripples in there. So then I turned around. After it was all dry, I dusted it all down. Actually, I used my power sander, my porticated power sander, and I dusted it all down, and then I boxed it this direction. And I was talking to you guys about alcoholism and, and how I'm about to celebrate uh, 39 years of sobriety. Uh, well, you know, it's funny, that day I was shooting that video, my dad died that day. Uh, I found out probably about an hour after I had done that video that he passed away. So I got a really heavy heart right now, and I'm really having a hard time focusing in on work right now. It's, it's, I, my ambition is kind of gone right now. But I wanted to finish shooting this video on the ceiling. And, uh, and my son, he was, uh, I was talking to him earlier, and he, I told him, I said, I'm having a hard time focusing. I'm having a hard time working right now. And he says, do you need any help? So he's actually holding the camera right now to shoot this video. He's going to help me finish this house now, help me sand it, help me, help me uh, scrape and sweep the floors and, and clean it up and get it nice. So, but I just wanted to show you now. I've done it both ways, and I'm not about to put my power sander on this. It's too smooth. It's too nice. If I did that, I'd have all these swirly... Uh, sanding marks that I would have to sand out anyway. So let me show you how easy it is to sand this, guys. Now that it's nice and skimmed tight, and it, and it looks good. I'm just going to come up here, and understand, I ran my box, and I have the strips in between my box, but I'm going to sand the entire surface. I really am. I'm going to sand everything up here, but very lightly. 
very easily. I'm not going to be grinding anything down. This, this ceiling is 100% nicer than it was before I started. If I left the ceiling alone and did nothing to it right now, it'd still be 100% better than it was before I started working on it because it had this really crappy texture and it's a plastered ceiling, right? This is not a drywall ceiling. The ceiling's all plastered. And that's all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna dust it very lightly. I can use four fingers, see here? Just four fingers holding this and just dust it very lightly. It's all I need. Once this is primed and painted, it's gonna be beautiful, you guys. <laughs> Have a great day and pray for me, guys, because I, I do have a heavy heart. You guys have a have a great day. That's it. Hey, if you really like my videos, subscribe. And if you really, really like them, please just share them with somebody else. How do you like my new t-shirts? And you know, you also might want to check out these other videos that are playing right down here right now. So uh, just click on them. All right, subscribe. Have a great day.